Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Being Human, Season 4, Episode 5. Uh, and this is an episode I was kind of looking forward to, just because of that cliffhanger from last episode that Kat finds out that uh, Aiden's a vampire. So we do get, I would say, a little less balance in this episode. Uh, it, it has Sally's story a little bit here, sprinkled, but it's more of a focus of Josh and Aiden, and, I mean, Josh and Nora, and uh, Aiden's story. Um, so they are losing that triangle thing that I've been really liking with season four, that we had all their stories. Uh, but, of course, we're still getting amazing stories of being human. Um, so let's start with the Josh and Nora story, because I feel like that's the lesser of the two. Um, but, yeah, this is actually kind of a... Um, a slow burn episode in a good way. Uh, but Nora and Josh, they find a pack of werewolves. Haven't we seen this before? Uh, so Josh is a little worried about that. He feels like he has his own pack, but Nora does like that safety of having a, a pack. So we see that whole entire situation go on. Josh doesn't really like the alpha of the group, but in the end, they actually do go to change with them, and we'll see how either this is for the good or uh, for the worse, because the werewolves don't really like vampires, but then they still partied with uh, Kenny and Aiden, so maybe they could accept vampires. Why can't in being human, we, we should just have no tension, right? Because you know this werewolf story, something's gonna happen between the vampires and werewolves, but wouldn't we like just no tension, and then everyone just living happily ever after? I would like to see that, but then it wouldn't be an interesting show, as it is with being human. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I think the werewolf story is going to go south. I don't see this pack thing happening uh, and going well for Nora and Josh. Or maybe it's, you know, going into another story arc, a happier story arc for them to have a kid. Who knows? Um, and I do think they're going that direction for this season. Probably by the end of the season, I see Nora becoming pregnant and having a child. I see it. Uh, I feel like they wouldn't have had that child story arc if they weren't going to get pregnant, which I think is smart because the UK version did that, but I feel they're doing it a different way here, of course, just like the US uh, version has been doing. Um, let's talk about Sally. Uh, Sally still has no idea what, what to do with her magic powers. She Now she goes to a different time period for two weeks, not even a day. Uh, so she's like, if I use my powers, do I ever come back? Uh, and she sees a really evil side of Aiden in the 1920s. Uh, so that's what's going on with Sally. She's still very confused with her powers. What should I do with it? How am I going to fix this? Uh, and also we get to see Josh's sister come back, so that was kind of nice to see because we see her every once in a while, and I, I like seeing those surprise characters. Um, and those those human characters uh, for being human. I do like that, and that's why I like the cat's character, which I'll get to. Um, now Aiden. Aiden, uh, he is moping around because Cat did not accept that Aiden was a vampire. Laughed in his face, and when she found that, kicked him out. Uh, and she doesn't forgive him and is actually kind of mad at Nora because I think she finds out she's a werewolf or, you know, just finds out that, uh, she knew that Aiden was a vampire didn't tell her. So, uh, she's just angry at everybody. Which I kind of wish that, you know, we had the Aiden, I mean, the Cat and Nora story too because that would have been interesting. They were roommates. Uh, her discovering other worlds too of the werewolves. I, I would have liked that as extra scene. Obviously, we weren't going to see that. Uh, but I thought that would have been a fun scene to see. Um, but yeah, with Cat, uh, I'm a little disappointed in what they did because they, they did build up Cat for this whole season and I wanted it to work. You know, uh, yeah, every Supernatural show we have that episode, uh, especially with these human supernatural relationships. It's like, I can't accept you. And by the end, they accept. Uh, I think in Vampire Diaries, they did that for maybe a couple episodes, and Elena's like, hey, step in, I accept you're a vampire. Uh, and I, I thought that was going to be the same thing here, but it seems this is more just for Aiden's journey, saying, what should I do with my relationship? Should I tell, you know, my uh, romantic partner? Or shouldn't I? Should I live a lie? And it's really him discovering himself, and is, does he deserve Kat? Um, so I was a little upset because it doesn't seem like Kat's going to be in the show anymore, and I hate that they developed the character for so long, and they kind of left it off there. They didn't, like, close it, you know? I wanted closure, uh, and there wasn't really a lot of closure here. It's just, like, bye Aiden and let me laugh in your face and let Aiden stalk you for a little while and then leave. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't any true closure and I was looking at I IMDB, I don't see the actress in the rest of the season, so I don't see Kat coming back and I'm sure the, the more the romantic story is going to be with Aiden's wife, which I like Aiden's wife, I think she's interesting, but again, I like the grounded elements with uh, being human and I thought Kat would have been a great grounded element to add to the ensemble of the cast. Uh, so I was really disappointed that they 
let let that opportunity go slip through their fingers. I think it would have been a really cool story. Again, I didn't expect Kat to accept it right away, but she we didn't get that closure I really wanted with the episode. Uh, so hopefully in the future episodes, if you guys know spoiler wise, if we're gonna see Kat more, uh, definitely tell me in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this was a little bit of a slower episode I thought, but there's obviously a lot of build up to other story arcs like the pack. Um, you know, Aiden going on a different path. I actually like Kenny a lot here, too. Uh, I, I was never annoyed by Kenny, but he's never one of my favorites. But I feel like he's becoming more part of the part of the cast also. So I really like Kenny here too. So there's some really good moments. But again, not my favorite episode of the season, uh, but some good planting seeds here. Uh, so yeah, I like the episode overall though. Uh, but please tell me in the comments below what you thought. And this is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.